Hello everyone. In this video I'd like to go through how to use templates and layouts in MarketScope as well as how to set up your FIB tool to measure risk reward. To start with, I'm going to set up some shortcuts in TradingStation as these will really help save time uh, when you're working with multiple windows in particular. I'm going to switch to TradingStation and under the system menu you'll see an entry for shortcuts. You'll need to change the category to charts and you can scroll down to the area where the save commands are. So you can set up shortcuts to save a template, save a layout, open a layout, as well as apply a template. And you can add the shortcuts by clicking on this box and then hitting whichever keystroke combination or shortcut key you wish to have. So once you've done that, you can head back to MarketScope. You can see I've got two windows set up and you can actually position them whichever way you want by dragging towards the middle and then setting up your screens that way. I'm going to start by drawing some lines now. These are just arbitrary lines to have some chart elements. I'm also going to add an indicator. And let's put a 50 EMA on. And in this case, what I'm actually going to do is put in the daily EMA. You can do that by changing the data source and changing the default period. You can choose any time frame that's the same or higher than the current window that you're working in. So in this case, I'll put the daily in. Uh, and you can see that'll be the daily 50 EMA. The other thing to be aware of is checked options in the drop down menus are also preserved in your template. So, for example, I can remove the check for trading history, and that will show up in the template later on. As far as the FIB tool is concerned, you can draw your FIB between any two points, and to add additional levels, you can use this button to do so and then eventually sort them as they'll be added towards the bottom. You can customize any number of levels that you wish to have as well as whether they're shown at the start or not and then once you're happy with that set that as the default. I find the easiest way to use the FIB tool is have the commonly used levels checked and if you only need a few clear them and then add the particular levels that you want. So for example here you can add levels in that will show you the position of your stop position, entry, as well as potential risk reward levels that you need to be aware of. Let's go ahead and save this template. And we can move to the other window now and apply the template. And there's a checkbox here that asks if you want to replace chart elements and settings. And essentially what that will do is clear everything off the chart and then apply your template. And that's handy because it means that you're not going to have things doubling up, whether it be lines or EMAs. So we can go ahead and do that. And you'll find that the EMA is now reproduced as well as the FIB level and the line that we've drawn on the 4-hour. Your checkbox option is also the same. So if I go ahead and turn that back on and then apply the template, you'll see that it disappears. We can now go ahead and save the layout. And that means that I could close these windows and bring the layout and restore everything that I have back. So it doesn't matter if you change position of the windows or if market scope crashes and you accidentally lose everything, whatever you had saved at the time of the layout will still be preserved. One thing to be aware of is that you can make changes to your template 
uh, that do not end up being reflected in your layout. So for example here if I decide to remove this line and then save the layout uh, uh, the template rather I can now bring the layout back and you'll see that the line reappears. So whatever chart elements are present at the time that you save the layout are what are actually preserved. You can continue to cha make changes and save a new template or save over your existing template and they will not be reflected in the layout unless you apply the template just prior to saving your layout. So keep that in mind, they do work differently. The layout really is to try and maintain the position of the windows. Hopefully that helps clear up some any, any confusion between templates and layouts and I hope that's been of some help.